Fellas, today we are going to do something that is extremely cool. Me and my good buddy Generic Stud have been at it head to head all week trying to make our own LEGO adverts. An advert that will be judged by the almighty Mantis Man himself just too good. And might I just say that this has been one of the hardest weeks I've ever had to schedule in my life. As true to fashion, I have gone over the top with mostly everything. But the final trailers will be later. For now, let's rewind time and go back to square one, where we decided the ground rules. The design brief is this, Tommy Seabricks, okay? It has to be one minute long, the advert has to include Lego, and it also has to revolve around a theme that we're going to decide now. The theme for me was super worrying, because we had this giant wheel full of themes and items that we had to include in our video if they were picked, and I knew if I got something really random it would be difficult to incorporate it into my idea. And the worst part is we both had different themes off of the same wheel, so he could get something completely different and way more easy than me. Ready? Yep, I'm ready. Alright, this is for me. What's my theme? Lime. Lime! <laughs> <laughs> What are you, gonna, you have to revolve your trailer around climbing. What am I supposed to do with climbing? Oh. Alright, now, for your one. Oh you god, have... here we go. Here we go, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. I'm not sure I am. Oh, sorry. I have hammer. You have hammer? Oh god. No. We're screwed. We're yeah. screwed, man. This is... No. I have, uh, I have not, look, does, does this mean I can include a hammer? Does it have to be revolving around hammers? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, just wing it, I guess. Yeah, I know, um, right? So that was it. We had our keywords, we knew what we had to do, so we went out and we started. I literally started by thinking, what set can I do this trailer on? I assumed he would be doing his trailer about Ninjago, so I thought, should I do something about Marvel, or should I do... Lego in general, or should I go out and buy a new product and try and make a trailer surrounding that? I did see this Lego advert with the T2 camper van, which I wanted to try and give a go, but I don't have the T2 camper van, which means I would have had to go out and buy it, and I just don't know if I'd have enough time to buy one, build the set, and then film everything, and get this video done, all in the three day time limit that we had. And I didn't want to be doing the forfeit, because by the sounds of it, it was going to be pretty bad. So I decided that I'd be doing my advert on just Lego in general, and try and tailor it more towards the adults. Considering I have a lot of 18 plus style sets, I figured I'd be using the majority of them for this advert. But the problem was is that I had no clear vision of what I was actually going to put on paper. So instead of getting out all these 18 plus sets, I decided to make what's called a previs. For those of you who don't know what a previs is, it's basically a worse looking trailer not having to worry about backgrounds or props, you just get a good vision of what you want to make so when you bring in all of the nice things you know exactly what you need to film and you know that it's going to time well on the final product. Now I wasn't very well when I filmed this previs and my audio is not final because I was going to get a secret weapon to try and elevate my trailer a bit more, but as you can see my previs in the background here, it definitely gave me a clear vision on what I was going Going to actually film when I got all my 18 plus sets out. As I knew I was going to be adding some blender stuff to this, I figured I needed to get on with that first. As we only had three days to do this, and I don't have a very powerful GPU, so I had no idea how long this was going to take to render. So mapping out this brick that I had flying through space, I basically recorded this on screen to put into my previs and once I knew that this brick was in place and I was happy with the movement, I could begin rendering and get on with my other shots. I really hope that this ends up looking good. Right now, it's uh, it's looking okay, but <laughs> I don't know if it worked for the final shot. It didn't work as well as it did last time. It went right into me again. It's safe to say I was having a bit of a tough time getting these shots, but in the end I finally got them all, and I started replacing the clips in my previs with the actual final shots. But the one thing I really wanted for this advert was a nice, crisp, well-spoken voiceover to go over the top. And there's only one man I know that has a nice enough voice to be able to pull this off. Cha-cha-cha-cha.
Um, this is Josh. He is an incredibly talented voice actor who I have the pleasure of just knowing. He has some of the best equipment in the business for this kind of thing, and he has the voice to back it with. And it was truly this that would be my secret weapon into hopefully making this advert the best that it could be, at least for my standards. If you like what you hear, he has a Fiverr account. He does a lot of voice acting for a lot of people. Go and check him out over there as well as follow him on Instagram. Both of his links will be in the description if you want to go check him out. Here's a few clips from the recording session we did, trying to come up with the lines for the advert as well as recording them in. Unlocking the imagination of the- I got nothing. <laughs> this is like usual us again. Damn it. So, I'm- like I say, I've done five final shots. Five. I'm rendering one, and now me and you are doing the audio now. <laughs> uh, the Lego brick, a seemingly simple piece of plastic, but really, a true masterpiece of engineering. A stepping stone to unlocking the imagination of the world. The Lego brick. A seemingly simple piece of plastic. But really, a true masterpiece of engineering. A stepping stone to unlocking the imagination of the world. Wow, this this whole video thing is really weird to me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, only, I only do this. <laughs> this is like, whoa. I'm just watching. <laughs> I, I feel weird. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? You feel weird? I feel weird. <laughs> Usually people don't see me. You can find me on Instagram or Fiverr under Japson Audio. The link's going to be in the description. And after we got the audio, it was pretty much just one final grind to get all of the advert done. And then that was it. It was time to present my final project to Generic Stud. Is your video done then? Are you are you all ready to show what you've I got? I am ready. It's been painful. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. Tell me about it. It's been embarrassing. I'll go first then, shall I? Uh, yeah, that's fine with me. I'm excited to see it. My goal of this was to try and basically sell Ninjago, right? Like, I, I love Ninjago, so I want to try and get people to buy it. Let's just take a watch, shall we? All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Man is in Play. prison in Lego City. Build the new Ninjago Gardens to help him escape. I'm poor. I sure wish that I could climb the social ladder. I don't own any Ninjago. Wrong answer. Suit up and go to the shop. For 150 months, my fellow Americans, go out and buy all of the Ninjago that you can find. What's that? The economy's crashed. That isn't my problem. I have the mustache and everything. Look at this. Please buy Ninjago. The green screen really worked, didn't it? <laughs> It's great, man. <laughs> I especially oh. loved. I, I loved the green screen stuff. <laughs> you really, Thanks. you really took that to the next level. <laughs> Honestly, you know, if Lucasfilm need me to help them out with any of their future projects, then I'm down. Well, I mean, to, to be honest, it was a lot more edited than I thought you were gonna get out of three days. <laughs> Just based on my experiences with my one. It was incredibly well edited. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really, I'm really intrigued to see yours. If you were happy with mine and you didn't think it was that bad, then I can only imagine how amazing yours is going to be. So, oh, dude, you know, I'm so excited. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Okay. Are you ready? I'm, I'm so ready, man. Okay. Here we go. In three, two, one. The Lego brick. A seemingly simple piece of plastic, but really, a true masterpiece of engineering. A stepping stone to unlocking the imagination of the world. And when this brick is being put to its full potential, creativity might appear limitless. The Lego brick. A seemingly simple piece of plastic. What? <laughs> How? 
<laughs> how, did you, how did you do that? With a lot of effort and a lot of time that I didn't have. Do you know have. what this means? I'm screwed now. I haven't... <laughs> I had, I had like the worst green screen that I could find on Amazon, like the cheapest one I could find. You had like... I mean, to be fair, my green screen wasn't that great either. <laughs> I didn't even know you were using green screen. Did you 3D render the bricks as well? I, uh, the beginning brick is 3D oh, rendered. Oh my god. <laughs> it took 18 hours to render. <laughs> <laughs> so um, generic. The real yeah. question is, where was your climbing? I climbed the social ladder. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. What can I there say? <laughs> Where was your hammer? Was that just the, at the end? At the end. It was, just, it was just a hammer there. It had nothing to do with that. It was just no, a hammer. No, it wasn't. No, I put Thor in the X-Wing. So as the X-Wing flew away, oh. the hammer was left behind. I did it on purpose. It was a purposeful thing. <laughs> Well, I mean, where else, where, where else am I going to put a hammer in this video? <laughs> you could have just destroyed your Lego. Just I, get a hammer and start was, like going to on, town on it. It was on the table of possibilities. <laughs> I think now it's time to send it off to the final Lego boss. The biggest <laughs> Lego YouTuber on the platform is going to judge both of these ads. And if mine is worse, I have to do a forfeit. So thanks, thanks, Tommy C. Bricks for doing spending days on that. <laughs> Oh my god. Hello, just too good here with a cameo. Hey, look, 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 look. I was asked to judge these commercials. Let's see who did it better. Tommy C. Bricks or generic stud. All right, first generic studs. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jeff. Okay. <laughs> this is an awful commercial. <laughs> like my wife left me. Yeah, I'll sell Ninjago to the kids. <laughs> How does the man in Ninjago City being imprisoned? Who is in Ninjago City? That would make sense, but he's imprisoned in Lego City. How is building the Ninjago City Gardens <laughs> save him? You're gonna use that as like a pole to to make him escape. I mean, how how can he even escape prison? Is he gonna like throw it against the bars and the bars are going to break? Okay, let's see if Tommy sees commercial is well actually a freaking commercial. Real talk though, that was freaking hilarious. <laughs> Okay, let's see, let's see. All right, Tommy C. Let's the Tommy Lego see. A seemingly simple piece of plastic. Nation of the world. See? <laughs> that was already good, but imaginative, you know? The, the Lego brick, it's a stepping stone. All those fluff words sell the product. Okay. And when this brick is being put to its full potential, Oh no. Creativity might appear limitless. See, this is a legit commercial. <laughs> I'm even jamming to it. And Eric said just beamed it up. <laughs> that was, that. yeah, they could use that to freaking to sell, I mean, Okay, the only thing that would be bad is the voiceover is a little cheesy, but wow, that was awesome. That that was freaking awesome. We have a clear winner. <laughs> we have a clear winner. What? Fellas, I lost. Apparently, Just Too Good didn't think that my advert was quite as good as Tommy C. Bricks, which it wasn't. Completely fair and valid argument, but I don't care. You know what time it is? Yay. And I have to break Zane's Titan Mac. For God's sake! There we are then. Oh dear. Oh no. 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 The, uh, I. Uh. No. Uh, no. Why am I doing this? <laughs> what have I done? Goodbye, old pal. No. 
This is the price I have to pay for mediocrity. Well, I must say I'm glad I didn't have to do that to one of my sets. I'm really glad I was able to be a part of this project between me and him. So if you haven't already gone over to Generic Studs channel and press subscribe, go and do that now. Also check out his behind the scenes with the first link in the description or the end card. Thanks to Just Do Good for judging this. Remember, if you're after a voice actor, go and check out Josh. His links will be below as well. Thanks to all the members that make these videos possible. And I will speak to you guys in the next video. Goodbye.